A top U.S. general says the U.S. military has moved naval ships with ballistic missile defense to the periphery of the Korean Peninsula to keep close tabs on North Korea's possible rocket launch. Korean military officials believe Pyongyang is in the final stages to prepare the rocket for a blastoff. And as our Hwang Sung-hee reports, this could take place as early as Monday. As North Korea readies its rocket for launch, Washington says it will do all it can to defend the security of the United States and its allies. During a Pentagon press briefing on Thursday, U.S. Pacific Forces Commander Admiral Samuel Locklear told reporters that U.S. warships equipped with advanced radar and other ballistic missile defense systems are being relocated to monitor Pyongyang's moves. North Korea claims that its rocket program is for peaceful purposes only, but the U.S. commander thinks otherwise. That their capability as an Arab, now a, a self proclaimed nuclear state, uh, their ability to be able to demonstrate to the world that, that they have the capacity to be able to build missile and have the missile technology to be able to, to uh, use it in ways if they, of their choosing down the road. Despite warnings from the international community, North Korea said last week that it plans to launch a long range rocket sometime between December 10th and the 22nd. Pyongyang attempted another launch in April, only to see the rocket break apart over the sea shortly after liftoff. Now it looks like plans for the upcoming launch are well underway. A senior military source in Seoul said Friday that North Korea seems to be filling up a fuel tank at the Dongchangni launch site, where the three-stage rocket was installed earlier this week. Once that's done, Fuel can be injected into the rocket starting Saturday, which means the North's second rocket launch of the year could take place as early as Monday. Experts say Pyongyang will most likely set the launch date based on weather conditions as soon as the rocket is ready to go. Weather agencies are forecasting cloudy conditions for the first day in the launch window, but expect the sky to be clear in Pyongyang on Wednesday. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.